Hello folks and welcome back to the Video Gadgets channel and if you watched one of my videos recently it was all about black spaces and bars when you upload your iOS screen recordings to YouTube which look a bit naff so we're going to try and address that problem in this video and potentially future ones because I'm not sure if this is the final best idea that I want to settle on but we'll start off the topic so what I want you to do is head on over to the App Store and download a app called Video Editor Music No Crop Cut. You can probably just search for InstaShot, but make sure that you search for it as an iPhone application because it doesn't appear if you search for it as an iPad app. And what this is going to do is change the resolution of your video and add a blur effect in the background, which makes it just look a bit nicer when people are watching it, or some people will actually hate it, but we're going to add it in this video. So what you would want to do is once you've downloaded the application, tap on InShot, and then you're going to import a video. And in this example, to give it the best effect, we're going to import a portrait video because that has massive black bars on the side of a video when you upload it to YouTube. So once you've selected your video, press choose and then that's going to compress the video and this is quite a slow process. I'm compressing a 1 minute 30 video here which takes about 45 seconds in itself. So we'll flip back to the video once it's finished the compression. Okay, compression complete. So this is the video editor and just bear with me, you have to run this application in portrait because it is an iPhone application. But here's what we're going to do. Tap on the canvas option and then you can see we have different aspect ratios at the bottom and the one we want is 16 by 9. And if you tap that, watch what happens to the video. Can you see now how it has stretched to a widescreen and we have the main video here but we also have a blur effect on either side. And if I start playing the video, you'll be able to see that uh, we have this nice little blur effect on either side of the video, which is just going to give it a more desirable look once you upload it to YouTube. And that's pretty much all you have to do. This video editor will also have a added benefit of converting the video from the glitchy performance that you often see with airshow videos. You can put the video to the left or right if you want to or stick it back in the middle but that's pretty much the effect that you want to do and it's really very quick. The one problem that it does have is that it's going to put this watermark in the right hand corner of your video. Not too bad for portrait videos but for landscape ones it may obscure some of your coverage. Once once you've finished with your editing, you can tap the tick button there and then you tap on the share button in the top right hand corner and once you've got through lots of adverts then it will process the video and you've got to leave the application on while it's doing this and of course the longer the video the longer this is going to take. And so ladies and gentlemen here we have in the photo gallery the final produced video. What we have is the recording, slap bang in the middle, a portrait recording, and then the blur effect, which is basically the video expanded and put in the background with a blur effect on it. And it looks very nice and professional. If I were to do this manually on a PC editor, it would take about 10 minutes. So it is a really quick, decent fix. You may also notice the black bars on the top and the bottom, but this is nothing to worry about. This is because the resolution has been changed to 16 by nine. So it's much more suited to YouTube videos and not exactly for an iPad mini screen but that's perfectly acceptable. Now as you can see the effect is quite dramatic on a portrait screen recording it's not quite as dramatic on a landscape recording which I'll put on screen now but let me know what you think. Thanks for watching enjoy the rest of your tech day bye for now.